The ministries, departments and agencies, as well as the National Steering Committee on Vision 2050, have been directed to study the report submitted by the National Institute for Policy and Strategic Studies with a view to considering its recommendations and incorporating them as executive strategy. The report, presented by participants of the Senior Executive Cause 43, made far-reaching recommendations on how best to ensure effective policy, policy design and implementation in Nigeria for a prosperous future. President Muhammadu Buhari gave the directive at this year's presidential party with the Cause participants. The State House correspondent Adam Sambu has the details. Getting Things Done, Strategies for Policy and Program Implementation in Nigeria was the focus of the nearly one-year research work by participants of the Senior Executive Course 43 of the National Institute for Policy and Strategic Studies. President Muhammad Buhari, who received the report after an interactive engagement with the participants drawn from all walks of life, noted with delight that the research work has not only drawn attention to his administration's numerous efforts at policy and program implementation, but also generated constructive and compelling recommendations. This confounds to me and our administration of the consistency and reliability of the National Institute in delivering on very critical and sensitive assignments of national importance. The gaps between policy design and programs implementation must be closed in order for our country to continue to make meaningful progress. No nation will progress without paying close attention to the ways policies are made and implemented. While congratulating the participants for justifying the confidence reports in them, the president also applauded the National Institute for living up to expectations, especially by demonstrating high sense of patriotism and deep knowledge about Nigeria and challenges being faced. I am convinced that you are now well equipped for the task of handling higher and more complex responsibilities for the benefit of our country. I therefore urge you to go back to your various establishments and put to work all that you have learned. This administration has invested great efforts in the provision of good governance and has made tremendous progress at getting the desired results. This report becomes important and timely in our quest to enhance service delivery to our citizens. Acting Director General of NIBS, retired Brigadier General Chuko Emeka Udaya, was full of appreciation to the President for his doggedness and common zeal and purposeful leadership towards achieving a better Nigeria. We salute your courage for stabilizing the economy of the country after a threatening recession a disruptive COVID-19 pandemic, as well as the volatility in the price of oil at the global markets. We acknowledge equally and salute the efforts of our military men and women under your leadership, and indeed all security forces for the sacrifices they are making to defeat the insurgency, banditry, and all sorts of violent crime and bring about lasting peace in our country. Your Excellency's aggressive stance against corruption and firm regard for transparency and accountability is a constant source of hope to Nigerians. Some of the participants spoken to give some insights into the research findings following their studies and reflections. What we have done was to look at the programs of government holistically and give our recommendations with a view of implementing them towards getting a better Nigeria. Policy is the connection between government intention and the actual delivery to the people. But active citizen participation is critical for us to get things done in Nigeria. The Senior Executive Course 43 is made up of 85 participants who apart from going on study tours, also carried out individual and group research works as well as vigorous intellectual debates to arrive at their recommendations. From the State House, Adam Musambu, 
NTNUs.